Welcome back to the Just RPG Podcast. I'm James. And I'm Vicky. And today we will talk about if you could remake a modern RPG, so anything PS2 and after, back onto the Super Nintendo. So if you could remake a modern RPG for the Super Nintendo, what game would you pick? And then we could talk about do we think it would work? Could it work but be a little work this way? Mm-hmm. So for, for like a generic example... If you wanted to take um, Final Fantasy X yep. and make it play in the style of Final Fantasy III in the U.S. or six in Japan, right? So it would be that sprite, all that stuff, but it would be the story and the content. Well, we can assume that the cards have the space to handle the length of a story. Yeah. We'll make that assumption. Yep. All right. So, uh... That would be hard to <laughs> do. First. We can just assume and, that that's one of the conditions. Oh, no, 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 I mean like Final Fantasy X. Oh, okay. Because there were so many different areas. Yeah, but it will say if the size doesn't matter, just like what mechanics will work. But all right, I'll, I'll go. I'll go first. Okay. I'll pick one. Um, I'd like to see Skies of Arcadia for Dreamcast or GameCube remade on the Super Nintendo. Now, in this game, mm-hmm. if you don't know what it is. You're kind of you're, it's an RPG. You're space pirates. It's turn based. You're not really space pirates. You're sky pirates. Everyone's in an airship, Ooh. right? So for the most part, it's just like a 3D RPG. You walk around, whatever. So that can easily be converted to 2D, and that would work. Um, but then there's something where you do ship battles, and I could see it working, but I could oh. see that being the worst part of the game. Why? When it's like kind of a cool part of the game, I see that being the worst part on the. <laughs> Super Nintendo, because you would ha- it'd be, it's turn based and there's like all these animations and it would have, just have to be like kind of two static images. <laughs> I think it, I think it would work then. <laughs> but yeah, I think that would be fun to play on an older console. We can also go through a couple more if you have more, but uh, okay. I think that's my first one. Um, I'd pick Lost Odyssey. That'd be a very simple one to do for the Xbox 360. Yeah. So why don't you give us a little background on the game and All right. So you are playing as the main character, Kaim Argonar. Oh, you remember the name? That's <laughs> I impressive. I remember him. Um and you are an immortal. So you lose your memories and you're trying to get them back and you meet other immortals along the way and you're all connected somehow. Okay, that's cool. So you're trying to like get so your it's memories like back. It's like Highlander. Yeah. All right. So it's like Highlander. <laughs> Can there be only one, or is there? <laughs> no, there's multiple? like there's like three or okay. four. So the only thing that wouldn't work. All right. So the things that would work is turn based, so that'd be very easy. Yeah. So it's just like a super nice looking turn based RPG. Yeah. Currently in its current form. Yep. Okay. Um. Story's great. That'd be fine. Okay. Um. I'd be okay with the sprites changing, so I don't have to look at the ugly freaking <laughs> main bad guy. Have you seen what this guy looks no, like? No, I have not. He has a dumb, ugly mustache. Whoa! <laughs> not Whoa. like yours. <laughs> it's horrible. He's on the main. He's on the cover. I'll show you later. Okay. But he looks like not a bad guy. All right, he but he is like a bad. Guy. He is the bad guy. That, he's like that's super off-putting. evil, but he doesn't look like it anyway. Um. Turn-based fighting system would work. There's, There's no, like, weird... timing mechanics or anything like there that? There is. There are, okay. Yes. So that'd be... So the thing that they do is kind of like the Blitz in okay. Final Fantasy VI, which I hated more than anything. So there's a ring, and you tap it at the right, like, perfect I gotcha. time to, like, do a critical hit. <coughs> it's the worst ever. Well, I, that does work... It does. ...on the Super Nintendo, and you do get the hang of it. I mean, if you're I playing... I did. Sabin or whatever how you pronounce his I name. I had yeah, I think his name was S A B I N. But uh, it was doable to do the blitz. I could do the blitz. I couldn't do the blitz. I had to hand uh, it to someone. Well, I, I I'd say that's doable, but okay, that that is a concern though. That's fine. Um, um, are there any other aspects of the game? Like, there's no blitz ball or anything. There was lots of reading. Okay, I mean that that could be done, or cut. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to read? <laughs> I loved reading. That was oh. my favorite part of the game because you read like old stories of yeah. your memories, and it was really sad. And there was great music. Oh my god, eight bit music for that game uh-huh. would be magical. <laughs> that'd be the well, it'd be sixteen bit, but uh, sixteen bit. Sorry. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, I would love it. Um, Someone do this. I'm trying to think if there's another game. I'll try to think of another one. Okay. 
But yeah, that's definitely a good choice. I think that's what I kind of had in mind with mm-hmm. this one. Um, RPGs would be perfect for this kind of thing. Yeah. Um, maybe I, I'd like to see like a modern Zelda remade in, you know, Link to the Past mm-hmm. kind of style. Um, either Wind Waker, Twilight, Pr- any of them, except for Skyward. You know, that, I think it'd be pretty cool. Skyward Sword. Yeah, you're not missing much. <laughs> that's what everyone says. <laughs> Even Ocarina of Time would be pretty cool. And it's obviously doable. You just convert it to that, and you'd have to replace, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I feel like, um, what you, would... you miss out on some of the like fancy arrow mechanics, you yeah. know. But but I don't think it'd be a bad game. It would no. still be a good story and mm-hmm. still be fun. The ocean would be great and easy because it's one square and not like hours of yeah madness. Yeah, <laughs> it had to be the Wii U version of Wind Waker. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, or you could just fast travel. Let's I just can see that travel. happening. You know, mm-hmm. I can see it working. Mm-hmm. But uh, anything else? Um, I wonder what Dragon Age would look like. <laughs> <laughs> see, I don't know if those would work. Those, mm. you, you, if you think back to like Super Nintendo NES, yep. When I think of like those first-person RPGs like that, right? I immediately think of those like Dragon just Quest? text-based yeah, ones. It'd be text. Based. You know, and it super. wouldn't be, it'd be super clunky, super slow. I, I don't know. I don't think those would work as well. Those kind of more first person action RPGs. Yeah. That's kind of what Skyrim, I guess, is. But, uh. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. Um. Yeah, I mean, those are probably my go to's. But, uh. I mean, really, a, a lot of stuff on PS2 would probably be pretty fun, like that. Even the newer Final Fantasies. Mm-hmm. Like, Final Fantasy IX makes a ton of sense because it was made in the style of the older ones. Yep. And it could definitely just change sprites and it would be fine. And that would probably be really fun. I wonder if someone's done that. But yeah, anything like... any Almost any RPG on PS2 that's turn-based I think would be a good choice. Mm-hmm. You know? Definitely could revert back and all that. Alright. Well, I guess that kind of sums up this topic. Yep. Alright. Well, if you enjoyed this podcast and you want to hear more, definitely check out our other episodes. Um, Tell us what you think you would like as a NES Yeah, maybe you style. guys have some good ideas that we didn't think yeah, of. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, again, thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. Bye.